recite a new wide angle visualizing system from Carl Zeiss. These three images show you all the system which is attached to a Lumera microscope. In this there is an inbuilt turret of two lenses which can be rotated to give a wide angle view and a magnified view. It's very easy to install this equipment onto the microscope and the view as you can see in this case of a total detachment which is a fresh one is excellent giving a very wide angle view you can almost see till the aura the depth perception in this visualizing instrument is excellent giving you a very good 3d view in patients with high total detachment this is the peripheral break which you can see with the lattice degeneration and the Schleden which is being drained off by the vitrectomy machine. We are showing you a 23 gauge sutureless vitrectomy. You can see the retina which is extremely mobile and trying to flip into the cutter port but with the high cut rate. The retina is safe away from the cutter. Here we can show you the depression which is being done with the external depressor to get the aura serrata in view and to excise the vitreous base very cleanly in these eyes. Here again you can see the lattice with the multiple sieve like breaks. The slight increased reflexes are due to the bright light which is needed in these patients with very high field of view. Endo drainage being performed from the same side of the break. By doing a fluid air exchange, you can see we are using the cutter port itself in the suction mode to perform an active suction to complete the FG. And you can see the retina going back. I think this wide angle viewing system has made life much easier because the focusing knob is way away from the lens and it doesn't interfere with the adjustment and the vitrectomy and the light pipe instruments. And the fine focus can also be done for the recite from the vario modulator which is there. The two lenses which are there in this are fitted on a turret which can be rotated in between if you want a wide angle view or a magnified view for macular surgery. And the chance of injury to the eye by the lenses of the viewing system is very less because this is a self folding sort of a lens as you saw. So unlike a biome which is stiff and can damage the eye if the patient moves or sits up. This lens system will fold on itself. That's the fluid air exchange being completed and you can see the retina is beautifully flat. We'll be doing an endo laser followed by a silicon oil injection in this case. See the extensive clear view which is a very beautifully appreciated from aura to aura. It's extremely easy to install this lens. This is the second case of a proliferative diabetic retinopathy which we are seeing with extensive fibrovascular proliferation over the disc extending into the arcades. 
We are doing the core vitrectomy and removing the vitreous hemorrhage. You can see the old laser marks and we can see way beyond the equator almost till the aura that's the infusion line which is also visible again this is a 23 gauge system sutureless we are performing a core vitrectomy. It's very important to clear as much of the vitreous as possible in these patients. In these cases, I prefer to induce the posterior hyaloid separation from over the disc because that is the area where you can be sure of inducing a total PVD rather than getting a vitreoschisis from the periphery. Here again depression is used to clear the peripheral vitreous base with the hemorrhage. Bent MVR blade is used to induce a posterior hyaloid separation over the disc region. And there you can see that whole posterior hyaloid with the fibrovascular polyp is being lifted off from the disc and the arcades. This is done very gingerly and slowly, taking care with the wide angle view to see that you are not creating any iatrogenic breaks. So your eyes should be all over in the wide field of view and you should stop the minute you feel that the retina is getting tented and there is a chance you will create a tear. You can see that the posterior hyaloid has lifted off from the retinal surface. Those pinpoint hemorrhages of the fibrovascular stalk attachments. You can see the retina behind and the whole membrane with the posterior hyaloid with the fibrous tissue anterior to it. We are completing the posterior hyaloid separation. There you see it. Now we move into the wide angle viewing system to get the whole tissue seen very clearly. And the same tissue will be eaten up with the vitrector there as you can see. The fibrous tissue with the posterior hyaloid is being eaten up. This is about saying the installation of this wide angle system is just a click type of installation which takes hardly a minute to install. And the view you have seen in these two surgeries which is dramatically beautiful with extremely sharp visualization of the tissues. There is an inbuilt inverter which is there within the tube of the lumera. The peripheral remaining bits of the vitreous and the fibrous tissue is being excised. Compared to the biome, the learning curve is very very short in this recite system. The periphery has been beautifully lasered. And that's the peripheral vitreous which is being shaved off. Posterior pole hemorrhage is very minimum if you are in the correct plane of dissection when you start from over the disc. The recite equipment is autoclave to sterilize it like the biome. The FG being done with clearing of the blood over the macula and the posterior pole. This will be followed by endo laser and silicon oil injection. We usually add some avastin into these patients to prevent post-stop bleeding.